Let's look at final exam question number 78 in Electronics Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, please refer to page 434 along with figure exam-13, which appears at the bottom of page 434 and applies to this question. This is a block diagram of a direct conversion receiver. Well, a direct conversion receiver takes a signal from the antenna. It passes through a weak signal amplifier, a mixer, and then an audio amplifier. The mixer actually serves as the detector in this receiver. But we also need something else this thing marked X. The question is asking us what is this thing that we need to put a signal into the mixer along with the weak signal amplifier in order to get the output that we want. The answer is B. It is a local oscillator. A local oscillator also known as an LO. The signal from this is variable. As we vary this frequency, the signal that comes in here mixes with it, producing beat frequencies that we can hear as audio output, thereby al allowing us to receive uh, continuous wave, frequency shift keyed signals, and even single sideband signals. So this mixer actually serves the dual role of mixer and detector. It is a primitive form of product detector, which we would use for single sideband uh, reception. The problem with a direct conversion receiver, though, is that we get both sidebands beating in the audio, and when two signals happen to fall equidistant on either side of this local oscillator. They will sound like they're on top of each other even though they aren't. And this is the principal disadvantage of a direct conversion receiver as compared to a super heterodyne with a product detector and filters. But this particular circuit involves the use of a local oscillator right there and once again, that is choice B.